Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, today's video is basically just a giant haul. I haven't done a haul for a while um, and obviously I've still been buying stuff um, over the last month and I thought I'd just kind of gather together all the things that I have bought recently because I know you guys like to see that kind of stuff. I don't make hauls all that often but I know you like them. I can see you watching them so yeah, I thought you'd enjoy just me kind of like bringing together everything and showing you what I've bought this month. Um, and I think it also might be Black Friday when I upload this. No, God, please, no, no, no. Who's sick of hearing the words Black Friday by now? So I will link everything down below. And if there are any discount codes, because I'm sure there will be, I'll pop them in the info box as well. So super exciting kind of little anecdote for this haul. Um, I've been doing some work with Topshop recently. This video isn't anyway anything to do with that. This is just me buying stuff. But yeah, I've been checking out some of their new stuff um, and I've been shopping a lot in Topshop recently. So there's a few bits from there, um, some stuff from ASOS and some other randomy bits too. I've got some piles going on here. Let's just grab this one. So I feel like I'm going through a bit of a thing for cropped um, styles at the moment. So cropped lengths with high-waisted jeans. Um, so I like to wear them with these kind of like cropped oversized pieces. So this one is um, just like a sweatshirt style jumper that's been cropped and cut. It has a really cute little embroidered bit on here, which has a more, I love anything embroidered and anything in French. So um, yeah, and this jumper is just kind of like a throw on. It's just like the perfect length. It really sits just right at the band of these jeans so yeah it's quite kind of slouchy super cozy it's like fleecy inside so it's really really warm to wear i really like the kind of rough edge of this one like the seam it's just been cut like that i have a few other jumpers like this that i don't wear anymore because they're quite long so i'm thinking i might cut them and see if that gives them a new lease of life um let me know if you think i should do that speaking of um embroidery and french words here is a very similar thing um this one's actually a long sleeve stripey top but a stripey shirt especially a long sleeve striped shirt i think is a classic this one says je suis à vous which i think means i'm yours possibly um i think that's very cute so yeah this is just embroidered onto it it's actually a navy um stripe it's not black i feel like it's looking a bit black there but navy and red i want to wear this with a beret and have a baguette in my handbag basically yeah, you can't really go too wrong with a long sleeve stripe top. Um, it's quite a nice length actually, like it's just about right if I left it untucked. I would probably tuck this in just because that's how I've been wearing um, all my tops recently with these jeans. I think it's just a slightly nicer length. I really like the embroidery on this as well. I think it's nice and simple, but it just adds um, a little bit more interest to an otherwise plain um, stripey t-shirt. But yeah, I like that it has long arms. Long arms are always my favourite. I usually roll them up actually, but I think I just like the cut of a long arm t-shirt more than a short one. I didn't realize this was so much of a theme, but I also have another embroidered thing here. Um, so berries are back apparently, which I'm fully on board with. Um, I dug out some of my berries from my hat collection um, and I have a couple, but this is definitely my favorite. This one says Dreamer. Um, it's embroidered on in this kind of like lilac color onto this darker gray, beret and I think the dark grey is a really great colour for matching with a lot of different things so it's kind of universally flattering with most outfits I find and I just think the little dreamer there is so cute just so yeah this is another one of my favourites too they have a couple more of these in different colours and different little words so I will link some of them down below as well so I actually bought a skirt for the first time in forever I can't even remember the last time I bought a short skirt I should say um, I saw a leather skirt like this from Marge, which was just incredible. It had kind of like buckles and lots of extra bits to it. It was a very extra leather skirt. Um, that one was about 400 pounds though, so I wasn't gonna invest that much in something that I probably wouldn't wear that often. But I saw this one in Topshop as well, and it was kind of similar. It has a similar sort of vibe. It's um, basically just your standard faux leather skirt. I love the buckles on this. I think that's what makes it just that little bit different. Um, so this I would wear with kind of sheer black tights and maybe black sock boots and then like a big oversized knit jumper over the top. So I have yet to wear this outside but that's how I'm planning to do it. I think as well with a big coat thrown over the top and just that whole uh, look would be what I would do if I was wearing this. So I'm actually wearing the skirt with a pair of fishnet tights. How are we feeling about that trend being back? Yeah, I'm just put it with this t-shirt which I probably wouldn't wear it with. This is a bit too oversized. 
um, yeah, just to show you, but I love these buckles. I think these are really cool. They kind of detract from any, like, food, children. Um, yes, yeah, so I really like this. I also kind of like it with the tights, um, and then shiny boots underneath. So I have a couple of jackets here. This one is amazing. I love this so much. Um, so it's kind of, well, it is a denim jacket, and it has this shearling collar uh, which doesn't run all the way through which is good because it doesn't make the coat too bulky but look it has these little metal stars and polka dots embroidered onto it this is just the coat of my dreams <laughs> i just love this um topshop have a few pieces identical to this it's kind of like a full set so they have a skirt a little crop top bralette thing um, and then this jacket that's the things that I've seen so far but they all have this amazing like studded star print on them um, and I'm just obsessed so this is amazing to me although this is quite extra and quite blingy I feel like just paired with a very simple outfit it would totally work for every day um, it's also a good little coat to throw on to if you are going out I think hello I'm never taking this off ever I love this so much. Um, I've got it on with a pair of black jeans and I think, you know, I don't mind the double deniming. I think when it's black, it's a little bit easier to manage. So I would definitely wear this with black jeans. Um, I've just got like a plain kind of slogan t-shirt underneath. But it's a really nice length actually, that's what I wanted to show you. The crop is just perfect. Um, it's not super cropped, um, but it's not a very long jacket either. Which I think is great if you are wearing it with like a skirt or something. Um, because long jackets with dresses and skirts doesn't really work quite as well. Um, yeah, I think it's just so fun. I love the detail on it so much. Um, yeah, and I don't have a black um, denim jacket, so now I have a very extra one. And then the second jacket that I have here... Um, is one that I have worn a lot. From the day I got this, I literally just threw it on and I've been wearing it everywhere. So this is a pretty huge, um, slightly oversized bulky shearling jacket. It's a matte effect uh, faux leather jacket, but then it has this creamy, um, it's not quite shearling because it's not overly fluffy, but it is like this really incredibly soft um, lining, which actually goes all the way through. This jacket is the warmest thing ever. So I did actually go a, a size up in this jacket um, because I wanted it to be quite big. I mean, it is quite big and oversized as it is, but I just wanted it to be that little bit bigger so I could wear um, some jumpers and knitwear underneath it, but then it still looked quite boxy and quite over, over the top, basically. Um, I just wanted it to be really snug. Yeah, this is just such a perfect shearling jacket that is big and bulky, but that doesn't make me look or feel like I'm wearing a giant tent. Um, yeah, I think it's super flattering. I love the cut. I love that the cuffs have this like kind of velvety fur on them too. I just think it is literally the perfect jacket. I'm so, so happy with this. Okay, so I, I kind of feel like I am teasing you guys just slightly by showing you this next thing because I think it is sold out. Although I have seen it in so many stores um, recently, so don't always go by what it says online. It's the Topshop Pink Velvet Blazer. <laughs> From the second I saw this, I knew I had to have it, so I ordered it as soon as it went online, and I think I was very lucky that I managed to get one in my size. There's a mustard one too, and there's also a blue one, which is gorgeous. I think that one is still mine. But yes, this pink velvet blazer gives me life. I love this so much. I think this is the most wearable thing too. I love the colour. Um, I love that it's velvet. I think velvet is so of the moment right now. I'm really into it. Um, but yeah, warm with jeans and a t-shirt, kind of like rolled up at the sleeves. I think it can be super casual. And I love a blazer. I'm such a massive fan of a blazer. So yeah, this is always going to be one of my favourite, favourite things. And I also actually got the trousers to go with it. So this is a full suit. These trousers too are just kind of like very, I'd say they're slightly tapered cigarette trousers. So flattering, really easy to wear. Again, when you split these two pieces up too, I think these are just so nice warm with some knitwear to make it quite casual um, or even like a fancier kind of black body could be quite nice with this to make it a little bit different a bit more evening appropriate but yeah they're pink and they're velvet and I love them too I mean come on this is pink velvet gorgeousness I probably would wear this with less makeup so maybe like a smoky eye and just a nude lip I think it's just a little bit more cool that way so yeah styled with like just a t-shirt I really really like you could also do like something fancy underneath this maybe like a lacy body i think that could be quite cool but yeah love this um the blazer is probably my favorite of the two i think it's such 
a flattering cut of blazer. It's a little bit more tailored and yeah, kind of a little bit more fitted, but it's quite long too, so it has that slight boyfriend style. And then the trousers, cigarette trousers, these ones maybe are a little bit too long to wear with boots. I think I would like a little bit more like ankle popping out maybe, so I could either have them taken up or just wear some slightly different footwear with them. Okay, let's talk about shoes. Um, I love shoes. I could make a whole video just dedicated to shoes. We know this. We all know. So I think I found my ultimate party shoes of the season. Um, these are just the most stunning, beautiful thing I've ever seen. Do you agree? These are quite out there and they're quite like gaudy and garish, but I think they're amazing. Um, these are from Topshop. They're kind of just pink satin block heels. Love a block heel. I think they make life so much easier. They're so um, easy to walk in. Can't do stilettos. I just can't go there. And they also have ankle straps too. My favourite way to do a kind of like party outfit or a Christmas outfit is to go very simple, very plain, maybe like black trousers and a black blazer and then hit you with the shoes. Um, I like my shoes to be really out there and different so these are definitely my party shoes of the season now. Um, they do them in a few colours as well. I feel like there is a yellow as well. I also have a pair of black boots here that I got recently. These are probably the most recent thing I bought. They are so different to the kind of black boots that I would usually go for. They're shiny for one. They're like this patent leather which isn't super kind of perfect. It's very worn in and it has these kind of little wrinkles in them. There's probably a proper word for that. They also have this like eyelet here so you can kind of see a little bit of your ankle when you're wearing them and it's this big chunky silver detail there and also the heels. The heels are really really different. They're kind of like tapered out. Um, for some reason I thought these would be really difficult to walk in but they're actually super easy. But I think the fact that they're just shiny um, makes such a difference to an outfit. I think it can really make an outfit wearing these. They're kind of a little bit more statement than your standard black boots but I like that a lot. So those are all the bits that I've been picking up at Topshop over the last month or so. Um, I do have a few other bits from ASOS too. I know for a fact that there is 20% off at ASOS at the moment which makes me kind of sad that I've already bought these and missed out on the code but what are you gonna do? I have bought something colourful for a change which is slightly out of character for me. Um, I'm really into this like mustard yellow shade at the moment. I think it's a really nice colour to pair alongside with my normal kind of wardrobe which is black, white, grey and then maybe some pink as well. I think it works quite well with those colours. So this one is actually from New Look. Um, which I found on ASOS and it's just it's a really good length for a scarf It's chunky. It's warm, but it's not too long. It's not too short I think if you are like me and you're the sort of person that shies away from color usually Accessories are definitely the best way to go about it. So I haven't mentioned any knitwear yet um, Even though we are in the season of knitwear, which is my favorite thing I've actually been living and by living I mean living in these two jumpers These are both from ASOS. They're the same style just in two different colors and they are just the perfect jumper. Um, this one especially has been my favourite, this kind of like camely brown colour, which I'm surprised by because normally I go for grey. That's my go-to colour for knitwear. But this one I've been loving. I've been wearing this a lot with black jeans and then a blue denim jacket over the top. So these are basically kind of funnel neck jumpers, which is my favourite way to wear a high neck because it's not as big and chunky as a roll neck. Um, it's just a little bit easier to wear. And then they're quite long too. Not long enough that you can't tuck them in. I do like to tuck my jumpers in sometimes. They're just so snugly and cosy and they are made of a really really soft knit which I appreciate because at the end of the day you don't want to be wearing a scratchy itchy wool jumper. It's not cosy, it's not nice. Um, yeah so I've just been loving these. I think they are my favourite jumpers to wear at the moment. I've got that one and then I also have the white one here. Classic kind of cream jumper I think is another kind of staple thing to have so I did pick up one in that colour too. So I'm just going to try on the one colour for you because I'm sure you can get the gist. Um, yeah but it is quite a long jumper, not super long but a lot longer than some of the other jumpers that um, I have at the moment. Like I said I probably would tuck this in. It's a little bit more to tuck than usual um, but yeah I still like the way that it looks just tucked in like that. So red has definitely been another favourite colour of the season for me. I have dabbled in some red and not just in accessories. I've been wearing a few red things 
clothing wise as well um but i think red jumpers worn with kind of light bleached denim is my favorite look i was looking for a really really high roll neck red jumper for ages i thought i found one from and other stories but it was just massive i think i put it on my instagram the sleeves were insane but then i saw this one on asos i think it's actually by glamorous and it's just the perfect red roll neck jumper it's got this nice rib knit to it um it's not super chunky but it is just a little bit different and then obviously the big, big roll neck. Um, you can wear this kind of like super massive or you can roll it down a little bit, which is how I've been wearing it. This is red. This is like the reddest red thing ever. Um, yeah, I love this roll neck though. It's so cozy and snug. Again, I'm repeating myself over and over again, but I would no doubt um, tuck this one in just a little bit. I don't know. I just prefer wearing my jumpers like that. I think it's a bit cooler, a bit more flattering. Um, yeah, the sleeves on this are really nice too. I like the way they're sort of rolled like this. I feel like I might wear this one on Christmas day, like it's quite a Christmassy jumper to me. I just associate red with Christmas, obviously. So I have another jacket here, which I bought from ASOS. This was before I found the magnificent star studded jacket from Topshop. So it is very similar. I'm not sure if I should keep this one as well. Let me know what you think. Um, but this is kind of like a cord jacket. It's not quite denim, so it's slightly different. I just love the color of this, the old millennial pink. It's a little bit chunkier and a bit thicker than the other one as well. Um, so it's kind of warmer too, which is good, but definitely way more casual, I think. The kind of cord um, material just screams casual to me. And I just feel like a little pink fluffy marshmallow when I wear this. Um, so yeah, let me know if you think I should keep this one as well, or if I only really need one of these jackets. I think I might um, get a slightly smaller size. It's kind of quite big on the shoulders, so um, if you're gonna buy this, guys, maybe size down. I just really like the color of this um, and the cords. I don't have anything corded. Um, it's cozy, it's pink. I like it a lot. Oh look, it even has pockets. I'm sold, I'm literally sold. I've just talked myself into keeping this. Um, I did notice they did a camel one too, like a light kind of beigey one, which I think would be so nice, but I'm definitely for the pink. I am so drawn to embellished things, um, especially when they come with pearls. So this was always gonna be something that went straight into my basket when I saw it. Um, this is from ASOS, it's just ASOS own brand, and it's kind of like the sheer, slightly kind of floaty, really, pretty pearl embellished top. This is definitely the kind of thing that I like to wear to Christmas parties and fancy dinners and things like that. Um, I'd wear this with a pair of black skinny jeans, probably some coated ones, and then for sure these shoes. Although this looks quite sheer, um, it does have a sort of built-in cami top to it, so it's not completely kind of bearing all. Although, I do quite like the way this looks just with a black bra underneath. It's a little bit more skin showing, but I think it just looks so much better with that kind of cut underneath. Um, so yeah, if you're a little bit more into it. So I have left the top underneath just to show you guys on the internet. Um, yeah, I really love the sleeves on this. It has like big bell sleeves, but they're so light and kind of floaty. The whole vibe of this is just like very floaty, but super cute with the embellished pearls on it as well. I guess you could kind of say it's like a peplum style as well. It kind of floats out a little bit towards the waist too. So yeah, I think it's really flattering, really nice. If you're an avid watcher of my channel um, and my hauls in general actually, you will know that I have been trying to find a black blazer for so long. So long now, I can't even remember. It's probably been since this time last year. It's really hard to find a good black blazer that is flattering, the right cut, the right look that I wanted. And I've said this a few times before, so we'll see how it goes, but I think I have found one that I absolutely love and it's from the high street. So this is from Selfridge, um, again via ASOS. And I mean, this one has quite Balmain vibes to me. It has those really fancy kind of gold embossed buttons on it. It has very strong tailoring to it, so quite shouldery. Um, and then this really kind of amazing lapel to it, which tapers all the way down and it is quite long. And that is what I like the most about it. This is a really long, almost jacket style blazer, which is what I've been really struggling to find. Most black blazers tend to be quite cropped for some reason and very fitted. Um, whereas this one I feel like has a much more slouchy, casual, oversized vibe to it. So I have rolled the sleeves up in um, true Charlie Bing 80s style. Can't believe how stupid we used to look. <laughs> I'm just so happy with this. I love that it is long, like it literally comes down to mid thigh on me. Um, it is a really nice long tapered style blazer. Um, the shoulder pads are there, but they're not 
that intense so I'm I'm on board with that I'm fine but yeah I really really like this um I think I'll be wearing this one a lot just feel really comfortable in it and I think that is the key when finding the right blazer so that is my haul for you guys I hope you enjoyed that uh like I said before everything will be linked in the info box if you click that open you'll find all the details for all the stuff I've just been talking about so thank you guys so much for watching um I hope all of you over in the US have had a great Thanksgiving and you're just full of food how amazing to basically have a second Christmas dinner before Christmas even begins. Um, that's the dream. It's all about the food for me, you guys know. I just like to eat things. <laughs> so I will see you all again in my next video, which should be coming up on Monday for you. That is all from me now, though. So I will see you then. Bye.